Welcome to Hardcore Garage. We are back on the 64 Oldsmobile to putting the bags back in. You'll have to watch the other videos and you can see the fiasco that I went through. But anyway, um, it, it never was as low as it should have been. And I never filmed me putting the newer stuff that I had built back in. So modified, we're getting ready to go back in. You're going to get a watch this time. What I did was I ha got two inches cut off of the bag mounts. For some reason, the car set about three inches higher, and when you set the old upper and lower bag mounts and the new bag mounts side by side, there was only an inch difference. Um, I went from a 2600 to a 2500 bag. I don't know that that should have caused any issues either because they have the same collapsed bag height. Um, the old bag mounts were a little thinner steel and offset a little. Don't know if that would have caused any of the issues, but this is what I'm going to put back in there, and I have a feeling that it's going to drop it down pretty good. The only thing I have left to do is I need to drill that hole out a little more because I am going with a new fitting, and it doesn't quite fit in there like the old style there, which would have had an adapter and a compression fitting. This is just like the, the quick release, I guess, if that's what you want to call it, almost like a shark bite or whatever. But that way, everything in the front has been changed. I've got new, unfortunately, I only have one piece of line. But with this quick release, I should be able to switch that other piece of line when I get it fairly easy. So let me get this ground out. We'll bolt everything together and see if we can't get it back in there. Okay, so we removed, this is the old compression style fitting and I'm going to replace it with this uh, quick release here. I think that's good enough. And the new line, it just pops in there. You shove it in, and when you pull that thing up, it's locked in there. So now we just need to drop the mount over top. Let's widen this angle out a little bit for you. Maybe, there we go. Pull my bolt back off. I had to cut this all thread down two inches also. And I put a little primer on everything. Oh yeah, look. It's gonna fit right back in there. And it'll be a little easier to get my bolt started because this thing is two inches shorter before I had to reach my arm way down in there to do it. socket maybe that'll help me get her started here there we go I think I stated before I'm short about four foot of line which really blows I thought I'd be able to get these things back in there with everything being new now it's all new except for one piece of line how lame is that all right hopefully you can see that my bottom cut still just floats in there and it's a little bit higher i'd like to have that tack welded right in there but i don't have the ability to do that right now so it's just going to have to go how it is We're gonna... it may be easier I bet you I can do that too. You know what I'm going to do before I do that? I'm going to screw the bottom plate on here. It'll make it easier on me, I think. Now, if that doesn't work, we'll pop it right back off. First thing you got to do is feed your line up in here. There's a hole somewhere. 
<laughs> Come out here. guys close I'm close where's my bolt better get her ready my rod's gonna be coming out right there there it is guys and gals I like you cool cats and cool kittens finger tight. Can you even see what I'm doing up in there? No. <laughs> up there. That's where my bolt came out. I can't put this thing on wide and have light for whatever reason. That's where I'm tightening right now. I like it. It should fall pretty much right where it needs to go. Should've put my gloves on. Castle nut. I don't know if you can even see back in there, guys. If I reach around this way, can you see what I'm doing? Just put the ball joint back in the spindle. I can't do it left handed, obviously. There we go, because I can't feel clockwise and counterclockwise left handed, apparently. Tighten that up with the cotter pin. In and this side's freaking set. This thing is super easy to pull apart. Now, I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see what I'm doing here, <clears throat> but I'm basically just going to fish this line back in and plug it in right there to that fitting. And the other side's going to need cut down just slightly. Uh, assuming my short self can reach this. This one here is going to need cut down just slightly. Handy 
dandy cutter here. Just lay it in that groove and snap it off. Even locks right back up for you too. Shove it in, pull it out. We should be ready to go up here, guys. <clears throat> I am going to pop a little bit of air into these things. Just to get, get make sure the bags are set in there, right? That one looks good. And that one looks good. I think we're ready to throw some wheels on this bad boy. For some reason, we've got to run these little washers on here. I really need to get longer studs, and I'm probably going to discover here when I try to put these on that I need new lug nuts as well. The other side doesn't have this cap, so I don't need these. On this side, some reason or another, and I, I could be wrong, this is what I was told by the owner that the previous owner that this controls. There's a spring system in here that controls the speedometer somehow or another. <laughs> That's all I was ever told, so I've always left that on there. But this thing definitely needs longer studs. Got more lift than that. <laughs> Probably can't even really see it. It's not all the way. Well, yes, it is all. <laughs> oh, that's great. I forgot to hit record right there. It went up a little bit more. We're just shy of 100 pounds. I'm going to let her charge up. It looks like it might be all right. I'm just wondering how low it goes, and I'll definitely have to remember to hit record. All right, the pump has turned off. Let's see how high this bad boy will go and how low it will go off the key so it doesn't turn back on. <laughs> Not so bad, right? Yeah. I think I might have a little bit of a hot rod right there, which is fine. Now she'll drop down. It's kind of got me scared. <laughs> wow. That may, <laughs> that may be laying right on the ground there, guys. 
<laughs> yep, pretty sure it is. <laughs> She's on the ground. <laughs> The transmission and stuff is lower than the frame on this car, but that's a pretty cool look there. Considerably lower than it was. As long as it doesn't break down, that's fine. <laughs> Well guys, I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial from a guy that didn't know what he was doing. This is my third time having it apart and back together, so I'm kind of almost getting the hang of the airbags. Uh, I like the ease of how, especially on this car, that the, you know, everything went right in and out. Had to pop the upper ball joints, but those are fairly easy on this car. It's a, uh, it's been interesting. It's been fun. Um, I used to be a anti-bag guy, but I'll tell you the truth. I kind of dig them. Not that I prefer bags over juice or one way or the other, but uh, just Will Spencer is just fun. <laughs> Y'all have a good evening, good day, whenever it is that you're watching this. Appreciate you guys' support, subscribing, sharing, liking, commenting, everything that you guys do. You guys are who builds this channel. I'm just a guy talking to a camera. <laughs> anyway, you know the drill. Keep on trucking.